right. So what are we talking about today? By the way, different location that I'm at. We're doing a little bit of a filming shoot thing, so I can't exactly tell you what it is, so shh, don't tell anybody. But I wanted to make a quick video because um, something popped to mind and I thought it might be good to talk about. And um, I wanted to be able to put something out with me in it. Um, so for the last few videos, I haven't been in them. I've been showing you other uh, celebrity advices, which is great. I like to do that. I'm going to keep continuing to do that because I think it's beneficial. It helps. Um, I think it can give you inspiration when maybe you most need it. Um, but also, I've been doing some, some pretty big stuff that I'm going to be excited to put out and show. Um, so I haven't been around all that much, which is why I wanted to take this opportunity so I could come and speak with you guys all again directly. So I wanted to make today's video about acting and how we should treat it as a business, not just an art. So what usually tends to happen is people get into this industry and they think, oh, okay, I'm acting. It's such, it's an art form. I get to do all this great art. I get, I get to go and create characters and it's an art and blah, 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 all this stuff. What it, which it is true. I'm not going to say that acting is in no way not a form of an art because it is. But what I also want to make sure I say is how much of it is also a business. And in a way, I could make an argument saying it's more of a business than, than an art. But I could also make the argument the other way around. But the importance of knowing that it's a business is vital. It's vital for you to have longevity in your career and to get from point A to B the easiest and hopefully quickest and smoothest way possible. So the reason that I say that acting is a business is because you have to make sure in this business that you realize who you need to know, who you don't need to know, the connections you have to make, who not to piss off, who to make happy. You know, I'm not telling you that you have to kiss up to anybody. But what I mean is when you have certain people who are your bosses, you want to make sure that your boss knows that, hey, you're doing the work. You can bring work to the table. The producers, the producers have to know, oh, okay, this kid can work. This person can do what they got to do. Um, the director has to be able to say, oh, I can trust this person. They're great. You know, they show up to work on time. Um, they, they know everything that they're supposed to know about the script. They know their lines. It's just as much a business as it is an art. And you also have to eventually decide what roles you're gonna take, because eventually you're not gonna take every role that gets offered to you. You know, in the beginning, some people wanna do that. Some people don't wanna do that. It just depends, but after you start making it, say, for example, Robert Downey Jr., you know, he doesn't just take every role that's offered to him. Now he has to strategically choose and decide, oh, I wanna do this role because of this reason, or I wanna do this role because of this. So you have to make sure that you start to realize that there will be certain things that you get to decide upon and pick. Or it may come up before you ever maybe make it big, but it may come up um, that you have two roles or three roles being offered to you all at once. And then you have to decide, okay, which one are you gonna take? You know, maybe there will be one role that you could take and you just know it'll be a blast. It'll be so much fun. And then maybe the second role Maybe it'll be, it's an okay role. There's nothing too special about it. Maybe the third role will be a lot harder. Maybe it'll be a lot harder work that you have to put in, more commitment, more dedication of time. But maybe you're gonna be working with a great, phenomenal director. Maybe that director directs a lot of films. And then you're gonna be like, wow, if I work with this director, they may like my work and they may want me to do other films with them, other projects that they have. So then it can benefit you and then in that sense, from a business perspective, it'd be much better to take option number three than to be focusing on option number one. Even though option number one, you know it's fun. You know it's fun, but you can still, one, have fun in option three. It may require more work from you, but you can't be lazy. You can't say, oh, because it's more work, I don't want to do it. But also, it may help you in the long run to do five other things that you may have a blast doing and you only get to do those things if you go with option number three. So it's a process of deciding and picking what you want to do. And it's just remembering that acting is just as much a business as it is an art. So start treating it like a professional profession. Don't just think, oh, okay, I'm just going to go and do my art. 
you are doing your art, but you're also doing your art strategically. You're doing it in a way that can help you get from point A to B. It's just like an artist and a painter. They'll be painting things all the time, but they can either do two things. They can try to get their paintings in a successful gallery. And sometimes those gallery are places where you have to start to know people so they can put your work in there and they can charge a lot of money for it. Or you can decide to sell your paintings on the street. You could do either one. You know, one is a little bit harder, it's a little bit trickier to go down, but you know that that will be a path that can maybe sustain you better than if you're selling your paintings on the street. So just remember that acting is just as much a business as it is an art. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and staying tuned into this. Um, be prepared for all the future things that are about to come out because it's gonna be really exciting um, and I'm ready for you guys to see it all. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can be up to date with everything. Click that notification bell. Um, so then, you know, anytime a video is posted, you instantly know. Like the video, leave a comment um, if you have any comments about anything at all. Um, I'm making some other videos that people had made comments about of what they'd like to know for acting, questions they had. So don't worry, I haven't forgot about those. Um, they're in the process of being made. Some are already made, but I just have videos that are going to be posted before some of those questions are asked. So just make sure if you have questions, post them down and uh, I'll make a video on it for you guys or just answer it in the questions, whatever is quickest and easiest. So see you guys next time. Bye-bye.